Well a done. Five, seven, three with a zero at 409 kilometers Ooh. an hour. Go! Nice clean burn out past half track, and he has run a 6.14, three tenths quicker. You're a bit just like me, Savage Ooh. Motorcycle Hat. It's only about $16,000. Comes okay. with a free motorcycle. Ooh. But it's a dead heat through the mid track. Jarenja <laughs> is not in front. <laughs> Casey McClure wins. Oh, no. She wins by 0 0.017 feet. Just oh. gets her nose in front. <laughs> I mean, Ray Treasure up here in Formula Tech Race Control is still smiling. a good one, it's close to the top, Harris wins it! For what is probably the closest race we've seen in many years here at Perth Motorplex. A full stage, a little stage. It's good, it's going for Matheson, he's in front, the candles are still lit. Oh, oh my goodness, 6.009. Oh. Now I think that's a PB for Matheson. Uh, is, is there some fighting words going on here? when we line up against each other. I'm going to take a spark plug out. Oh. Anthony does not want to lose. Did you see how quickly he got <laughs> off the drone? Shooting to the replay, a match made in heaven. The header flames were higher from the young lass from the beginning. Beggs has given it up. It looks like an exhaust. Tonight, six oh, double nine for J Mac. There? Jared J Mac McLean, take a bow. J Mac is pumped on the return road. Here, not only with Richard Zapier and Terry Dorrington, but there was something very special in this lap. Terry, it's a very special moment for WA drag racing and people who have paid their heart and soul into this sport for a long time. He had the ashes of one, his number one supporter in the shoot, but we put it in drag racing as his final pass. Darrell still has control of the start oh, line at zero. Oh, there's trouble here, unfortunately. Oh. Nicholas Rose turned the car upside down, still sliding along. Zapier oh. moving around, crosses the centre line. Whoa. That was a huge slide. Check out the attitude from John Zapier as it just goes straight into the dining block, even fired it into the side of Pino, I think. 06 and then 8 on the end at 311 kilometres an hour. Now turning the tyre just off the start line. Oh, Jody! The car's got all crossed up at the top end and has slapped the wall. Oh, oh he's the wall right over and is sliding oh. into the other lane. Colvin Lyle is all over the place and seems to have saved the car by getting the chutes out. That was a wild ride for Kelvin Lyle. He goes over to centerline, steers it away, and then it just snaps on him in the deep end and oh. drives around him. He went More through. We didn't wow. see him. Yeah, not, I didn't realise there was an overtaking lane at the other end of the track, or I would have used it. He did a good drive. Did not collect me, and hats off to him. He did a brilliant job. And it's beautiful. Candles all the way. Three point eight. in the deep end, looking at that, that was a very bouncy top fuel dragster. Pino gets it oh. all with the line, oh. and it's a big move for Aldridge into the concrete wall. He's gone across the track, he's found the wall on the other side. That was a wild, wild moment for Steve Aldridge in the crowd security team. Good, it's true, he's driving away from it at the top end. I think he's gonna do it. it. Sam Treasure has run and continued the Treasure's winning streak. The high point one, we're watching him down there. Give me a dead heat. 1065. Oh, dead oh double heat. breakout! <laughs> they wouldn't get off it! Oh, if we slow it down, boys. So oh. close. Oh. Dead heat, but the Monaro gets it. Both cars in the full stage. It's a deep stage for Chapman. Gets a big wiggle on. Stuart Moresby's driving oh. it through. Moresby a 5-9, double five. 
Lucas Green on. <laughs> a 0.07 for Lucas. It's a 0.02 for Brody. Brody has the advantage and gets the win. Lewis has got the hind legs out as he hits the top side of the track. It's close at the top. The win goes to Connor McClure with a 6-6-5. Double breakout wow. and uh, Luke gets the win. Luke Seaton looked pretty happy as he went across, so he went waving his uh, hands with fists of joy, I should say. With the beach bomb getting away, it's a bit of a pummel. There's head of flames all the way down the track for Canavatis. A 5.56 for the night. Round of applause for the little girl in front. Here in the semi-final. Ah, oh, Pino turns, then Moresby turns. It's a pedal fest oh, at Priolo. It's going to be close. No! And he's wobbling at Moresby. He goes through. Zero, four, zero seconds at the finish. Look at the coupe pulling towards the centre line. Look how line. close he acts. How, he, did he clip it or no, did, did the exhaust the blow it? Oh, disappointing there for Brett Glover. Oh. Errol hasn't moved. <laughs> He's left at the last minute here. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Errol. Oh, my God. We got the win, Errol. Quarterback got the win. win ever. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. It has been an incredible weekend here. A massive thank you on behalf of First Motorplex, all the staff, all the officials, and all the volunteers. And, of course, we're back with more and more action. Go to motorplex.com.au and good night.